Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Internet Explorer 11 behaves differently as an app that you can access from the start screen than its desktop counterpart does. This app cannot install add-ons that enable the display of some web content such as Adobe Flash. Therefore, if you cannot view a web page correctly using the Internet Explorer 11 app, then you can open the web page using the desktop version, which will allow you to install the add-ons necessary to correctly view the web page content. You can click the Internet Explorer 11 app tile in the start screen to open a new browser window. At the bottom of the browser window, you will see a black bar that contains the buttons you need to view web pages. The buttons you will see from left to right are the back button, the application or web page icon, the address bar, the refresh button, the tabs button, the favorites button, the page tools button, and the forward button. To view a web page, simply type the desired URL address, for example, www dot microsoft dot com directly into the address bar. When you finished typing the URL address, you can either press the enter key on your keyboard or tap the go arrow button that appears at the right end of the address bar when you begin typing the URL. Also note that as you begin typing the URL address, Internet Explorer 11 will display web pages that it thinks you might want to visit based on what you type and web pages that you have previously visited as icons shown above the address bar. If one of these suggestions shows the URL that you want to visit, you can click or tap the icon shown to display that web page in the web browser window instead of finishing typing the full URL address. As you view the different web pages within the browser window, you can use the buttons within the black bar at the bottom of the page to help you navigate through the pages you have visited. You can click the back button to return to the previously viewed page. If you click the back button, you can then click the forward button to move forward to the web page that you left. You can click the refresh button to refresh the content shown within the web page if needed. If you click into the content of the web page, the black bar at the bottom of the page will turn into a very thin line with three white dots displayed towards the right end. This allows you to completely remove the black bar from the display to create a more immersive experience when you're browsing the web. You can place your mouse pointer at the very bottom of the screen until the line changes color slightly, and then click to display the black bar again. You can click the Tabs button within the bar to reveal the Tabs section, which will then display any web pages within any open tabs or to open a new tab within which you can display another web page. You can also right click within a web page to quickly view the tab section if desired. To open a new tab, click the new tab button within the tab section which looks like a plus sign to display a new tab. You can then enter the web page to view into the address bar to display the web page within the new tab. You can then switch between the opened tabs by displaying the tabs section once again. The open tabs will be displayed as icons at the left side of this section. You can simply click the icon of the page to view it on screen. You can then click into the page to hide the tabs section again. To close a tab, display the tabs section and then click the small x button in the lower right corner of the tab icon that you want to close. The tab icon will then disappear. To reopen a closed tab, you can click the Tab Tools button 
and then select the Reopen Closed Tab command from the pop-up menu that appears. You can reopen the last closed tabs in the order in which they were closed by selecting this command multiple times if needed. You can also choose the New in Private Tab command from the pop-up menu to open a new in private tab which prevents Internet Explorer from storing information about your browsing history while using the in private tab. You can click the Favorites button in the black bar at the bottom of the window to display the Favorites section, which allows you to manage your listing of favorite web pages. You will see the folders within the Favorites folder shown as dark blue squares displaying only their names, as well as icons for web pages that you have saved to your Favorites folder displayed within a scrollable list. You can click a folder at the left end to view the web pages that are saved into that folder, or you can click any web page icon that's shown to display that web page within the web browser. You can also click the Favorites drop-down in the far upper left end of that section to select a folder within this Favorites folder to view within the Favorites section. You can then click the All link in this same area to view all pages and folders within the Favorites folder in this section again. You can right click a web page icon shown in the Favorites section and then select either the Open in New Tab command to open the web page in a new tab, or the Remove command to remove the web page from your favorite section. You can delete a folder by right-clicking it and then choosing the Remove command in the pop-up menu that appears. You must then click the Delete button in the confirmation window to delete that folder. Note that doing this will also delete all web pages stored within that folder. You can add a displayed web page to your Favorites section by clicking the Add to Favorites button to display a pop-up menu where you can click into the top box and type a name for the web page if desired. You can then select into which of the favorites folders to save the web page by selecting the name of one of them from the following drop-down menu. You can then click the Add button to add the web page to the favorites section. Note that you could also click the New Folder button to create a new folder within the Favorites folder instead. You can then enter the name for the folder and choose its parent folder from the drop-down. You would then click the Create button to create the new folder. You could also simply click the Back button to cancel the folder creation and return to saving the favorite web page. You can also simply click outside of the favorite pop-up that appears to hide its display and cancel the addition of the web page if you change your mind. To pin the currently displayed web page to the Start screen for quick access, you can click the Pin to Start button within the Favorites section to open a pop-up box that allows you to select a tile icon and enter a name for the page into the text box shown. Then click the Pin to Start button to pin a tile for the web page to your start screen. To share the currently displayed web page, click the Share button in the Favorite section to display the Share pane at the right side of the screen within the charm bar. You can then click the app that you want to use to share the web page from the listing of available apps shown in the pane. You can click the Page Tools button in the black bar at the bottom of the screen 
to display a pop-up menu of commands that are available. You can click the Find on Page command to display a search bar within the black bar at the bottom of the page that will allow you to search for a specific text within a web page. Enter the text to find within the Find text box. The text you type will appear highlighted within the web page. You can then click the Previous and Next buttons to search for previous and next occurrences of that text within the web page. When you're finished, you can click the Close button. You can click the View in the Desktop command to open the selected web page using the desktop version of Internet Explorer 11. This will allow you to view the web page using a copy of Internet Explorer that allows for add-ins to be installed, so you can view web pages that use Flash content and other web page extensions. You can click the View Downloads command to view files that you have downloaded through Internet Explorer 11 within the Downloads section. You can click on a file name in this list to select it. You can then click the buttons in the lower left corner of this section to manage the selected files. You can click the Open button to open the selected file. You can click the Open File Location to open the selected file's location within a File Explorer window. You can click the Delete File button to delete the selected file. You can click the Clear button to clear the name of the file from the list in case you already deleted or moved the file using File Explorer. If desired, you can clear the listing of all of the downloaded files by clicking the Clear List button at the far lower right end of the Downloads section. To close the Internet Explorer 11 app, click and drag from the top of the app window to the bottom and drag it off screen. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.